Hey guys, welcome back to HL Mod Tech. It's Ellie here, and today we are going to be making a sweet NASA rocket. So, when you get into Tinkercad, create a new design. And they always have these like weird names already made. You can change that to Sweet Rocket with your initials after. So, the first part is you're going to bring out a cylinder. And you're going to hold shift and drag it out to make it any size. Now on one side you're going to type 19.75. Oh, always happens. 19.75. Press enter. And now you have the right shape. Now we need to make the height the right height, I guess. <laughs> so the height needs to be 51. Point nine seven. So this is going to be the main base for your rocket. Next you're going to go down to all shapes. And on mine it's page 6. Yours may be different. You're going to bring out this Ogjiv. Og I don't know how to pronounce it. Okay? So don't judge. <laughs> and this is going to be on top of this rock. Uh, on top of the base to make it rocket shaped. Remember that shift drag out. One side you're gonna type 19.75, and then the height is going to be 26.98. And there you have it. So the next part is you're going to drag, drag a box around those, hit align, and then you're gonna do center, center. And see, it kind of looks weird, right? So you're gonna kind of click on this green part and then it'll just highlight that ogive, ogive shape. You're gonna do sw first shape the snap grid to 0.5. You're gonna do control up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Now at 11 clicks, it's too high, but at 10 clicks, it's too low. So you're gonna go up one and then change it back to one millimeter and then you're gonna do control down, control down, control down, control down. That's too low, control up. And now you have that perfectly aligned. And now you're gonna group these together, make it, I don't care what color, I'm just gonna make mine orange. That is the first part of the rocket. The next part that you want to do after you have made this main rocket is you're going to click this and then do control D, move that out. And then you're going to do, so then this is going to be one of the side rockets. So you're going to do, make this shift, drag it out. And this is going to be 9.75. And then the height will be 62. And then you're going to make white, make it white, and then control D. I don't know what happened. Control D, and then that's your second rocket. And you're gonna do control D. And this one is going to be saved for later. So you can just put, or hide that one away. So now you have these two. You're going to align them in the center, like that. And then you're gonna take this one and hide it. And now you have these two. You're going to switch to home view and then change it to five millimeters. You're gonna click on one and then move it out. One, two, three, four, five. Just like that. And then this one's gonna be moved out. One, two, three, four, five. So now they're each five uh, clicks away from where they started. You're going to show all, hide this one. So now they're all aligned, but they're like not all s like right next to each other. So you're going to click on one, and you are going to move them into the part. So that one took two clicks. That one took two clicks, and now they're that part is together. But as you can see. If you look really closely, there's a little gap between you. So what you're gonna do with that, if you click it in, it's too far in. But if you click it out, it's 
like not right. So you're gonna change it to one millimeter, click it in, and now they should be even. Click it in, and now they are even. Now, if you want to, this is personal preference, preference, but you they're kind of towards the back a little bit more, so you can move them. If you change it to two millimeters, you can go one, two clicks up or to the side. One, two, and that way they're just a little bit more to the side. So now you're going to group these two together, or these three shapes together, make multicolor, and you've got the main base for your rocket. So now we will be making the, the thrusters that go on the bottom. So let's just put this away for now. Ah, not that far, just a little far away just because we're not really focusing on that as much. So you are going to go back to basic shapes and you're going to grab out a paraboloid. So these kind of looks like that thruster, kind, the four thrusters at the bottom of a ship. And so the measurements for this, remember that drag out, they're going to be 10.50. And if you're lucky like mine, mine also turned to 10.50 as well for the height. Next, we're gonna do Control D, and then change it to a hole. You're gonna do a little bit smaller. There's no exact shape. You're gonna stick it down, so that way you can make sure that it's there. Fit view to selections, just for a little bit better view. As you can see, that's not a big hole. And thrusters normally have pretty big holes. So you're gonna make it a little bit bigger. And it does come out to the side, but that's why we align it. Align, center, center, if it will work. So that obviously looks too big already, you know? So let's actually do regular dimensions and do 10 because it that is 50 parts smaller, I guess. So now, that's a smaller hole. Now you can group those two, align, center, center, and then group. And now it has a hole in it. Next, you're going to do home view, just so you get a little bit better view. You're going to do control D, move it out one, two, three, four, five clicks. And you're gonna do highlight those two, group them, and then control D, and you can move them up some clicks. And that just makes them a lot going a lot faster than doing them each at the same time. So now you're gonna grab those, group them together, and then that will be that. So this is going to be under here. So we wanna make this go up about 1050 so that way it fits exactly the height and then we can align these two in the center 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 again and now they are perfectly aligned and group these two together multicolor it should be already there oops okay so now that is the main rocket. So now that the main rocket is done, we are going to be making the front thruster. So let's unhide that one part that we made. So right here, this is what we're going to be working on. So you're going to make this a little bit bigger, but then the height is still the same. So about like that big. And you're going to be grabbing out a box hole. You can just grab out a regular box and then click hole, but they both have the same. They both end up the same. So now you're gonna move this in about halfway and then you're gonna pull it up all the way. You can even go a little higher just to make sure that works and then you can even pull it down a little bit more as well. There. So now I'm making sure that's covered the whole way. You're going to highlight those two, group them together, then see half of it got cut off. 
So now we can highlight those two, align them here in the center. So now that they're in the center, we can move this one back. And see, it's still at the bottom, so we are going to raise it up. And 10, 10.50, and now it should be even. And it looks a little high, so that so you can move it down as you like. So now that part is done. We can group those, just so that way we don't lose any parts. And now that your main main rocket is done. So the next part that we are going to do is optional. I just think it looked really cool when I did mine. You're going to go to basic shapes. It should already be there from last time. And then uh, come on, bring out a text. You're gonna click right here. T hyphen minus, uh, if I can spell it right. M-I-N-U-S and you can make it all capital, whatever you would like. And then you can change the font, whatever. I don't really care what you do. This is this part's optional, so remember you don't have to do this part. So now that part, and you're gonna do Control D, bring it down, and then you're gonna change this one to five space four, ah, if it'll type. Sometimes you have to do this more than once. Oops. Come on, cooperate with me, please. Thank you. So you're gonna type five space three, oops, five space four space three space two space one space. And boom, you have the T minus five, four, three, two, one. You're gonna align these in the center not like this because that'll look weird so undo that and then you're going to group them together just so that way they don't float away on you and come over here tilt it 90 degrees oops come over here tilt it 90 degrees please please tilt 90 degrees come on mm. Okay, you can just type 90 degrees. Negative 90, so that way it's up. Just press D, and then you can make it smaller if you'd like. And align these just so it looks nice. And then you are finished with your rocket. So now that you've finished the rocket, you can make this the most incredible rocket like the most incredible rocket by adding anything you want you can add some wings add some even better details um just make it epic make it so that even nasa would be proud of it and nasa would want to come to you and ask you to make a real rocket comment down below if you have any questions and if you haven't subscribed what are you doing Press that subscribe button, hit that little bell to, so you know when we make new movies, and hit that thumbs up if you like the video. Bye, Ellie signing out.